Hello, everyone. Before you join in these exercises, remember that not all exercises are suitable for everyone, and this or any other exercise program may result in injury or illness. So if you're in any doubt, do have a chat with your doctor. Do not exercise if you're feeling unwell or tired. It's best to join in with these exercises another time. If you have eaten lots in the last few hours, you must wait at least two hours before you begin to exercise. If you have any injuries, aches or pains, you must check with the doctor first, as you may need to rest a while before you start exercising. Also, if you're having any medical treatment or taking any medicine, you will need to check with your doctor first. In fact, if you have any doubt, always consult your doctor. Stop exercising if you feel uncomfortable or unwell. Hello and welcome to Colin the Cobra's Forest of Secrets. Fun yoga for your kids. Yoga is a wonderful exercise system for the body and mind that originated in India over 5,000 years ago. Yoga's incredible movements, slow deep breathing, balancing postures and relaxation will help your children in many ways. It will keep them flexible, help relieve stress, correct poor posture, build self-confidence and above all give them a warm glow of radiant positive health and well-being. As their health and flexibility improves, children can often find relief from stress-related illnesses such as eczema, asthma and headaches. Make sure your children use this video in a warm, airy room, wearing loose clothing and bare feet. They may also want a towel or mat to sit on. The only rule is they must not strain. Each movement should be performed slowly and carefully. You'll soon be delighted with your child's rapid progress. These movements are ideal for beginners or children with previous exercise or dance experience. But if your child has any health concerns whatsoever, then it's wise to check with your doctor before they begin. Most of all, this video is great fun for kids. I really hope they enjoy it. But be careful, they may even encourage you to join in. Colin the Cobra. Welcome to my Forest of Secrets. Oh, thank you for having us, Colin. We're here in Colin the Cobra's fabulous Forest of Secrets. And with his help, and with all the help of the forest friends, we're going to get fit and we're going to have some fun. The only rule you have to remember is you must never ever strain. Go only at your own pace, easily and gently, and we'll get there. Take it very easily. First of all, let's just warm the body up. Just shrug those shoulders a bit. Loosen the body. Come on, up we go. A little bit more. That's nice. Just loosening the body. That's very good. Now, very deep breathing is very important. And we're going to breathe in this beautiful forest air. So stand straight now. And in this movement, push your abdominals out and breathe in deeply. Lift your arms up in the air and inhale that lovely forest air. Slowly lower your arms and just relax. One more. Push your tummy out, breathe in. Lift those arms and just breathe in always through your nose. Breathe out slowly through your nose. And that's the breathing you do in all our positions. Now shrug your shoulders again and we'll warm you up. Have your feet a small amount apart, shoulders back. Breathe in, lift those arms and reach for the stars. Look up at your thumbs. Now with your head up, just relax forwards. Don't strain, just go gently and easily and relax. 
lift the head. Breathe in now and lift those arms and see you can stretch tall as possible. Stretch up as tall as you can. Now keep your eyes on the thumbs and we're going to bend backwards. Just relax a little bit back at first. Up you come. Stretch the body. Now down we go again, keeping your body very flexible. That's lovely. Well done. Breathe in now. Lift those arms and just stretch. Look up at the sky. Now again, keep your eyes on the thumbs and gently relax back. Breathe in, up you come, and now place your hands together and relax. Now, before we start, please let me introduce you to all my lovely forest friends. First of all, we've got Olivia, Sophia, Claire, Bethany, Livy, Nikita, William, Callum, James, and Joe. Salute Sammy the Sun each time you wake. Brighten the world and you'll feel great. Colin, look, the sun's coming up. Let's salute it. Stand straight now. Place your hands together. Take a deep breath in through your nose and breathe out slowly and calmly. Now breathe in, lift your arms up and really stretch the best you can do. Look up at your thumbs and just keep stretching. See who can stretch the tallest. Now breathe in again and back you go. Slowly breathe in as you come up. Now slowly with your head up, flat back, straight legs, place your hands by the feet, aim the chin to the knees. Now breathe in and take the right leg back. Look up at that lovely blue sky. Now take the left leg back, now take your knees down first, then your chest and then your chin. Breathing deeply, slowly come into Cobra Pose and tuck your toes under, lift your bottom in the air, take your heels to the floor. Now breathe in, right foot in, eyes on the sky. Left foot in to join it. And again, look at that lovely blue sky. Now breathe in and lift your bottom. Aim your chin towards your knees. Breathe in slowly. Lift those arms and stretch. Look up at the ceiling. Keep stretching. Eyes on the thumbs. And back you go again. Breathe in now. Hands together. And very well done. Doesn't that make you feel better? Gives you energy. Let's do it again now. Stand straight with your feet a small amount apart. Shoulders back and hands together. And breathe in. And slowly breathe out. Breathe in now. Lift those arms and really stretch up. Look up at the ceiling again. See how tall you can stretch. Look up at your thumbs. Gently. Back you go. Breathe in as you come up. Now very slowly, head up, flat back, straight legs, place your hands by the feet. Aim the chin inwards towards your knees. Breathe in and take the left leg back, eyes on the sky. Now right leg back. Now take the knees down first, then the chest and then the chin. Breathing deeply, slowly come up into Cobra Pose. Tuck the toes under and gently breathe out as you take the heels to the floor. Breathe in, bring the left foot in, look up at that sky. The right foot in, hands by your feet. Breathe in, lift your bottom, aim your chin to your shins. Now come up slowly and lift those arms and stretch now, look at the thumbs. Now gently, back you go. Breathe in as you come up, and very well done. Work that waist if you please. Let's start with Sid the Siamese. Oh, the Siamese posture, this is a lovely one. Place your legs about three feet apart and take your shoulders back. Now bring your right hand up, place it on the top of the head and take a big breath in. Now breathe out, slide the left hand down the left leg. Now what does the Siamese cat say? <coughs> breathe in as you come up and lower that arm. That was good, but I want more yows from you at home as well. <coughs> breathe in now, lift the hand up, look into the centre of the elbow. Breathe out now, slide it down. And now a little bit more. <coughs> breathe in as you come up 
and lower the arm. That was great. Really, really good. Bring that foot in now. The other one to face the wall. Take your shoulders back. Breathe in. Lift the left hand up. Place it on the top of the head. Look to the center of your elbow. Breathe out. Now down we go in a lovely Siamese cat. Breathe in as you come up and lower it. And one more. Breathe in. Lift that hand up. That's very good, Sophia. Breathe out now. Slide the hand down the leg. Breathe in as you come up and just relax. Relax your back and move your bod with Willie the Warrior Warthog. Oh dear, this is a really fierce position. You have to snort. That's what they do, isn't it? Let's try it. Place your right foot to face those trees over there and have your arms parallel to the floor. Take a lovely deep breath in. Now breathe out and bend your front leg. Now five flat back legs straight. Now a big snort from Joe and James. <laughs> Wonderful. Breathe in as you come up and relax. That was lovely. See if you can snort at home as well, won't you? <laughs> breathe in now. Off we go again. Breathe out, bend that front leg. Come on, down we go. Big snort. <laughs> Wonderful. Up you come and relax. That was great. Now bring that foot in. The other one to face those trees. Shoulders back. Arms parallel to the floor. Breathe in. Now bend the front leg. Five flat back legs. Straight down we go. And a great big snort from Joe and James. <laughs> Up you come and relax. That was very good. One more. Breathe in now. Fierce face. And off we go again for lovely warrior. That's just great. Up you come and relax. Well done. Now have your feet to face the front. Take your shoulders back and breathe in. Lift the arms up and stretch. And again, look at that lovely blue sky. Now relax down gently. Let go. Feel yourself relaxing. That's wonderful. Well done. Lift the head now. Bring your feet in two inches. Lift those arms up and really stretch. Now look up at the, at the sky and bring the thumbs in front, the fingers behind at your waistline. And now with a big breath in, relax back and see if you can see the trees behind you. Up you come and very well done. That was really good. Strengthen your back with Tallulah Toucan. If I can, then I know that you can. Oh, Colin, this is quite a difficult one for us, but we'll try. Don't strain, remember, go gently. Have your legs about three feet apart. Place the right foot to that tree over there. Point it to that lovely tree. Now have your arms parallel to the floor and take a lovely deep breath in. Now breathe out, bend that leg, aim the thigh flat, the back leg straight, take it gently. Now aim the little finger by the big toe, or if you can't manage, hold your ankle or your calf. Now slowly lift the other arm and point the fingers to our beautiful blue sky. Breathe in now, lift those arms and stretch them up. And relax, one more. Breathe in, lift those arms. Now swap your arms over and bend the front leg. Try and place the thumb by the big toe and if you can't manage, hold your ankle, calf or knee. Lift the other arm now and again, see if you can see that beautiful blue sky. Now breathe in, feet to face the front, and just relax. Well done. Take the left foot to face that lovely tree there. Can you see it? And arms parallel to the floor. Now breathe in, bend the front leg. Now five flat back legs straight. Aim the little finger by the big toe. Very slowly, pull the shoulder back. And again, point the fingers to the sky. That's very good, it's great for your back. Breathe in now, lift those arms and stretch. You're doing very well, this is quite difficult. Now swap the arms over, breathe out and place the thumb by the big toe. Now slowly lift the arm and point it to the sky again. Breathe in, very good. Lift those arms and relax. That was really good, you did so well. Now have the feet facing forwards, lift those arms and now stretch your body. Point the fingers to the ceiling. And now slowly relax. Just close your eyes and let go. Let your hands relax on that lovely ground. Lift the head, bring the feet in gently. Lift those arms and stretch. See if you can see the sky. Now thumbs in front, fingers behind, and the waistline. And now again, relax back and see if you can see the trees. Breathe in 
And just relax and very well done. Tim the Toad will help you ease stiffness in your ankles and knees. This is a lovely movement. Off we go. Have your feet a small amount apart. Have your arms parallel to the floor. Now, just come up on those tiptoes. Now, slowly lower your bottom to your heels. And what noise do toads make? Oh, absolutely. I've got a lot of toads. Breathe in, up you come. And relax. That was great. Let's do it again. Arms parallel to the floor. Breathe in, up you come. Now, slowly lower your bottom to your heels. Come on. What noise do toads make again? That's good. Breathe in and relax. Fabulous. Let's do one more. Breathe in now, up you come. Now keep your back straight, down you go. Very good, that's lovely. Up you come. Well done, very good. Freddy Flamingo grunts and groans for a flexible back and healthy bones. Freddy Flamingo's a bit of a balance, but have you noticed how flamingos always stand on one leg? And it's very good for us too because it really keeps our bones nice and strong. So we'll practice. You have to concentrate for this movement, so find a spot on the ground that you can really fix your eyes on. Now stand straight. Lift the right arm in the air and keep your eyes focused on that spot. Breathe in. Now, as you breathe out, collect the left set of toes in the left hand. Keep your eyes on that spot and gently lift the left leg. Don't strain. Don't worry if you wobble a bit at first, that's normal. Just lift the leg now. See who can hold it for longest. Up you come. Place your hands together. Very well done. Try the other side, stand straight. Breathe in, lift the left arm and stretch. Collect the right set of toes in the right hand. Now concentrate hard on your spot. Exhale now, lift that leg. Come on, you're doing well. Keep staring at your spot, you're doing ever so well. That's good. Up you come and place your hands together. Very good. Let's try it again. Stand straight. Inhale, bring the right arm in the air, stare at a spot. Collect the left set of toes in the left hand. Now keep your eyes on that spot. And gently as you exhale, lift the leg. Don't strain. Don't worry if you wobble, that's normal. And gradually as you practice, you'll be able to lift the leg higher and higher. Up you come now. Place your hands together and relax. Very good. Try the other side, stand straight. Bring the left arm in the air now. Connect the right set of toes in the right hand. Again, concentrate on that spot. And slowly lift the leg. Keep your eyes on the spot. You're doing very, very well. Bring it up and hold. That's just great. Come out of it. Whew, well done. For strong legs and a focused stare, let's balance with Billy. Billy the Bear. Let's have a go at this balance. First of all, we'll do Baby Bear. So stand straight now and stare at a spot. Remember, you always stare at a spot to help you concentrate. Slide your hands under your right knee and keep your eyes on that spot. Now gently lift the leg. Hold it, that's very good. And just relax it. Well done. Let's try the other side now. Keep your eyes on your spot for balance. Breathe in. Now slide your hands under the left knee. Concentrate on your spot. Stretch the leg out gently. Don't strain, just hold it there. That's very good. And relax. Now keep practicing little Billy for a while. And when you feel strong enough, we'll try big Billy the bear. So stand straight now. Place the right hand on the right hip. Stare at your spot. Grab the left big toe in the left hand. Now concentrate on your spot and slowly lift that leg for great big Billy. Now lift the leg up as far as you can and see who can lift it for longest. You're doing really well, well done. And lower it and relax. And the other side, place the left hand on the left hip. Stare at your spot. Collect your right big toe in your right hand. Concentrate on your spot now. Now very, very slowly, lift that leg. Keep your eyes on the spot. Don't worry if you wobble or fall. Remember, we all do to begin with. Lower it and relax. That was great, let's try again. Place the right hand on the right hip and breathe in. 
Collect the left big toe in the left hand. Concentrate hard and slowly lift the leg. Don't strain, just do your very, very best. Gradually, eventually, you'll straighten both legs. And lower it and relax. And left hand on left hip. Breathe in. Collect the right big toe in the right hand. Concentrate on your spot and lift that leg. It's really good for your legs. Get them nice and strong and flexible. Lower it. Well done. Very good. Trevor the tree stretches and points for flexible and healthy joints. Let's have a go at Trevor the tree. Stand straight now with your shoulders back and bring your right foot up and place it on your left thigh. Now to begin with, often the foot has to go just there because the legs have got a bit stiff already and it's difficult to balance. As you practice a bit more, it can go up there and eventually, when you feel you can do it with ease, you can place it on the upper thigh like that. So you find a position that you can hold. And now remember, stare at your spot for balance and take your shoulders back. Now breathe in. Now lift those arms and stretch your fingers to the sky and see who can be the tallest tree in this forest. Let's see if we can get taller than the trees all around us. Lower your arms, place your hands together and just relax. That's good. Let's try the other side now. Stand straight. Take a big breath in and just lift the left foot up and place it on the right thigh. Now stare at your spot on the ground for balance and gently lift those arms. Reach up very tall and again stretch. And remember, the straighter you stretch, the taller you'll be. Lower your arms, hands together. Very good. Let's do it again. Stand straight now with your shoulders back. Breathe in. Bring the right foot up, place it gently on the left thigh. Don't strain, just find the position that suits you best and never worry if you wobble or fall. We all do, but gradually as we practice, it gets better. Lift those arms now and really stretch. Point the fingers to the ceiling. Concentrate on your spot. You're doing so well. And lower and hands together and relax. And the other side, inhale. Bring the left foot up, place it very gently on the right thigh. Concentrate on your spot, this will help you tremendously. Now just breathe in, lift those arms and off we go. Stretch to be the tallest tree in the forest. That's good, stretch up a bit more. Lower your arms, place your hands together and very well done. That was lovely. Harry Heron likes many things but mostly to stretch your hamstrings. So let's have a go at Harry the Heron. Bring the right foot into the middle and sit straight. Interlock your hands under the left foot. Now breathe in and lift that leg and try and straighten it. If that's too difficult, hold the calf or even the knee. And keeping your back straight then, gently aim your chin towards your knee. Don't use strain, just do your best and that's a lovely stretch. These are your hamstrings and Harry's very, very pleased if you really stretch them. Lower the leg and just relax. Very good. Let's try again. Breathe in. Interlock your hands under that foot and now gently stretch that leg and straighten the knee. Now bend your elbows, aim your chin to the knee, but don't use strain. You're doing very, very well. Lower the leg and just relax. That's excellent. Let's try the other side. Bring the left foot into the middle. Interlock your hands under the right foot. Breathe in deeply. Lift the leg and stretch it out. Come on, Harry's very pleased now. Really pleased with you. Bend the elbows. Aim the chin to the knee if you can. And lower the leg and just relax. And interlock your hands under that foot. Breathe in. Lift the leg again. Stretch it out as much as you can. Now bend your elbows. Aim your chin to your knee, feel that lovely stretch and just relax. And that was great. Well done. Hector the Hippo thinks balancing's fun to help build strength in his back and his tum. This is a really strong movement, but just go gently, you'll love it. Place your arms parallel to your legs. Take a big breath in. Now gently breathe out. Lift your legs up and look at your big toes. Try and hold it there. And lower. Place your hands together. Well done. 
Let's try it again, should we? Have your arms parallel to the legs. Breathe in. Now lift those legs like Hector. Hold it there. And just relax. Very good. Now, when you can manage that one easily, we'll try Hector's stronger balance. So interlock your hands behind your head now. Look up at your toes. Take a big breath in. Now lift those legs and hold. And lower and relax. That's strong, isn't it? Very good for strengthening your legs, though, and really, really for giving you a strong tummy and a strong back. One more. Interlock your hands behind your head. Look at your toes and breathe in now. Now, gently as you breathe out, lift those legs and lower. Ooh, very good. Now lie flat on your back for a treat. Draw your knees into your chest and just rock gently from left to right. Now close your eyes and soothe that back. And now gently rock forwards and backwards. Up we come. Back we go. Up you come and well done. Jerry Giraffe can twist and stretch for a flexible spine and a relaxed neck. Lovely. Let's twist like Jerry. Sit straight now, breathe in. Bring the right foot up, place it over the left thigh. Place the right hand on the floor behind your back. Breathe in. Take the left arm on the outside of the right knee and place it on the left knee. And now sit up straighter. Now gently breathe in again and slowly as you breathe out, turn your head very gently over the right shoulder. That's really good. So you have a really flexible spine. Now slowly return the head to the front. Well done and relax. One more. Breathe in. Now slowly turn your head very, very gently over the right shoulder. That's really good. Very good for your back. Slowly return the head to the front and just relax. Now Jerry thinks you can manage his stronger stretch, so let's try it. Breathe in now. Very slowly turn your head over the right shoulder. Now, if you can do that, slide the left hand under the right leg. Take your right hand behind your back and try and join them up. That's well done. That's really, really good, James and Nikita. And relax. Very good. And now both legs straight out in front of you. Breathe in now. Bring the left foot up. Place it gently over the right thigh. Left hand on the floor behind your back. Right arm on the outside of the left knee and on the right knee. Breathe in. Now slowly turn your head. That's beautiful. Over the left shoulder. That's really good. And slowly return your head to the front and relax. One more. Breathe in now. And again, turn your head over the left shoulder to give you a lovely, flexible back. And slowly return your head to the front. Very good. Now again, let's try the, the stronger stretch. So breathe in. Turn your head slowly over that left shoulder and now slide the right hand under the left leg. See if you can take the left hand behind your back. That's very good. See if you can do it as well as Claire and Nikita. That's good. And just relax. Very, very good. Now sit straight and you've done very well. Gazza the gazelle stretches his back whenever he wakes up from a nap. It's a good idea for us to stretch our backs as well. So let's copy Gaza. Breathe in now. Lift your arms up in the air and point the fingers to that blue sky. Now, keeping your head up, don't strain. Just relax slowly forwards and go as far as you can. Make sure your legs stay straight. And now relax into your best position. Eventually, you'll be able to take your chin towards those knees, but don't you strain. Breathe in now. Lift those arms and stretch up again. Look up at the sky. Lower your arms. Place your hands together. Well done. That's good. We'll try it again. So sitting straight now, breathe in. Lift those arms up and reach up very tall. Now with your head up, go only as far as you can. Don't strain. Eventually your chin will be right there on those knees. Just do your own best. Breathe in, lift those arms and stretch again. Look up at the ceiling and slowly lower your arms, hands together and relax. Now, should we try one more? Sit straight, 
breathe in. And another really big one. Lift those arms and have a good stretch. Now, with your head up, relax slowly forwards. Just gently and easily. And aim your chin all the way to those shins. Breathe in now. Lift the arms and do a big stretch. Look up at that lovely clear blue sky. Lower your arms. Hands together. Well done. Just when you thought it was all over, come with me. I'll show you Colin the Cobra. This is the lovely position. Let's do it. Lie on your tummy, place your hands just level with your shoulders and place your forehead on the floor. Now take a big breath and place your chin on the floor. And now very slowly, keeping your tummy on the floor, up you come, drop the head back, look up at that ceiling. Now hold it there, stretch back and slowly lower yourself to the floor and just relax. Well done. One more now. Forehead on the floor, breathe in. Lift the head, place the chin on the floor. Now slowly up you come again, breathing deeply. Drop the head back, look up at the ceiling and hold it there. And slowly lower your body, head on one side. That was very good. Now just relax. Now breathe in, lift your bottom in the air, take it very slowly down to your heels, place the forehead on the floor in front of those knees. And breathe in deeply, lift the arms and stretch, look up at the ceiling and slowly lower your arms, hands together and relax. Very well done. Now we're going to do a special movement, this is just for you Colin, we'll do your King Cobra movement. Lie on your tummy again. Place your hands by your sides and the forehead up down there. Now take a deep breath and place the chin on the floor. Don't strain, keeping your tummy on the floor. Breathe in and slowly come up. Now drop the head back. Now if you can, bring those toes up and touch the head. And slowly lower them and just relax. That was very good. We'll do one more. Place the forehead on the floor. Breathe in. Place the chin on the floor. Now slowly come up. Don't rush or strain. Up you come. Drop the head back. Now if you can, bring the toes up. That's beautiful. And lower and just relax. And now breathe in deeply. Lift your bottom in the air. Take it slowly back to those heels. Place the forehead on the floor and just really stretch out that back. Now breathe in, lift those arms, stretch up, point the fingers to the ceiling and very good. Place your hands together and relax. Join Leroy Locust. Don't you slack. Let's work your lazy legs and back. This is a lovely move for those backs. Let's try it, should we? Lie on your tummy and place your chin on the floor and have your hands by your sides and by your hips. Now gently take a big breath in and lift your right leg in the air and see how high you can lift it. Oh, that's great. Hold it there now. Well done. Now slowly lower the leg and just relax. That was great. Now try the other side. Take a big breath in and slowly now lift the left leg. Oh, good. That's higher and higher. Well done. Slowly lower your leg. That's great. And just relax. Very, very good. Take another breath now. Breathe in deeply. Come on. Lift that right leg. That's excellent. And now slowly lower the leg. That's great. Leroy's pleased. Inhale. Bring the left leg up now. Stretch it up high. That's great. And slowly lower your leg. Well done. Very good. Now turn your head on one side and relax. Now breathe in deeply, place your hands by your sides, inhale, lift your bottom in the air, take it very slowly back to your heels, place the forehead on the floor in front of those knees and take a big breath in, lift those arms, stretch your body, look up at the ceiling and slowly lower your arms, place your hands together, well done, you've done really well. Flex your back with Tony Tiger and lift your legs up higher and higher. I wonder if you can do this one. It's quite difficult. You have to concentrate hard. We'll show you. You try with us. Lie on your tummy now. Place your chin on the floor and place your hands by your hips. 
Now take a big breath in and lift your right leg in the air, but keep your knee on the floor. This is quite complicated, so watch carefully. Now lift the left leg and see if you can slot the left knee in the hollow of the right foot like we're doing. Oh, you can. Oh, that's so clever. Hold it there now. Now slowly undo the legs and just lower them. Well done. Now let's try the other side. Bring the left foot up now and bring the right leg in the air and slot the right knee in the hollow of the left foot. That's great. You are clever, that's so good. Hold it there now, well done. Now gently lower the legs and relax. Oh, that's so good. Tony's pleased. Inhale, lift the right leg now again and lift the left leg, slot the left knee in the hollow of the right foot. Oh, that's great. Hold it there. This is so good for your legs and your back. Hold it and slowly lower the legs and just relax. Now inhale, bring the left leg up again and we'll lift the right leg now and slot the right knee in the hollow of the left leg. Hold it there now, that's really good. Slowly lower the legs and relax. Now place your hands either side level with your shoulders. Breathe in, lift your bottom in the air, breathe out and slowly lower your bottom to your heels. Place the forehead on the floor in front of those knees and stretch the back. Now breathe in deeply, lift those arms, stretch up, point the fingers up to that blue sky, lower your arms and very well done. That's a complicated one but you did well. Do just work on what you see, do inside too with Bertie B. This is such a lovely movement, it gives you a real buzz. Let's try it. Lie on your tummy, place your chin on the floor. Now take a very deep breath in and grab your feet. Now very gently lift the head and the feet and look up at the ceiling. And slowly lower it. Head on one side and just relax. Let's try it again. Place the chin on the floor. Grab your feet now. Take a big breath in, lift the head and the feet. And lower and well done. Now place your hands either side level with your shoulders. Take a big breath in, lift your bottom in the air and take it slowly to your heels. Place the forehead on the floor in front of those knees. Now lift your arms up, stretch up tall to realign your back. Lower your arms, place your hands together and very well done, that was great. Now the next stage of the movement, I only want you to try when you find the previous stage really easy. Don't strain and go gently. It is fun though, we're rocking in the movement. Lie on your tummy now. Place your hands gently by your hips. Take a lovely breath in and grab those feet. Now very gently lift the head and the feet. And now let me hear you buzz like Bertie B. And let go and close your eyes and just relax. That's hard work, isn't it? Let's try it again. Have the chin on the floor. Breathe in and grab your feet. Now slowly lift the head, look up at the seat and rock. Just let go, close your eyes and just you flop, you've done very well. Now breathe in, lift your bottom in the air, take it slowly back to your heels, place the forehead on the floor in front of those knees. Lift those arms, stretch up tall, really stretch and lower your arms. That's very good. Does wonders for your back and massages your tummy. Now realign with Sandy Swan to keep your spine both straight and strong. This is such an important movement for keeping your back really straight. Let's do it. Sit on your heels and make sure your back's very straight. Now take your shoulders back. Breathe in deeply, lift the arms and now stretch those hands to the sky. Cross your thumbs and just keep stretching up and up and up to straighten that spine. Now take a big breath in and slowly breathe out and stretch forwards, keeping your bottom on the heels. Place the head on the floor, stretch those arms forwards now and just keep stretching. Really good for that back. 
Now breathe in, lift those arms, really stretch so you can stretch the highest and lower your arms, place your hands together and well done. Let's do it again. Breathe in, lift those arms, stretch up tall, cross your thumbs, point the fingers up to that sky. Breathe out, now down we go. Aim the chin to the floor in front of the knees and really stretch the back straighter. Now stretch more and more forwards, keeping your bottom on your heels. Breathe in, lift those arms again, stretch up and slowly lower. Hands together and relax. We'll do one more. Breathe in now, lift and stretch, cross your thumbs, point the fingers up to the sky. See who can stretch tallest, stretch straighter. Now gently breathe out, down we go. Head on the floor in front of the knees, bottom on heels, keep stretching. Breathe in, lift those arms, reach up very tall. Stretch a bit more and slowly lower your arms and very well done, that was great. Hugo Horse bends arms the best and loosens tension from your neck. You're going to love this one. Up you come into a kneeling position now and turn your body to the right. Place both arms straight out in front of you. Now this is quite complicated so watch carefully. Take the right arm over the left and slide the hands together. We'll do that to show you again, should we? Both arms straight out in front of you. Take the right arm over the left and see if you can slide the hands together, aiming the fingertips touching and the thumbs touching just like that. Now, place the first joint of the thumb in that little hollow there above your nose and take a big breath in. Now slowly lift your elbows in the air, drop the head back and neigh like a horse. Come out of it and relax. That's great. Let's try the other side. You're meant to look like a horse in that position. Have both arms straight out in front of you now and take the left arm over the right and slide those hands together. Place the first joint of the thumb just above the nose. Now take a deep breath in. Lift the elbows, drop that head back. And they like a horse. Slowly come out of it. Undo your arms, hands together and relax. Well done. Let's try again. Both arms straight out in front of you. Now right arm high over left and slide the hands together. First joint of the thumb, place it above the nose. Breathe in deeply. Slowly lift the elbows, drop the head and just relax back. Come out of it, undo and relax. It's a really good movement, especially if you're slouching over your desk or over your computer. Let's try once more. Both arms straight out in front of you. Now left arm over right and slide the hands together. Place the first joint of the thumb above the nose. Breathe in deeply now. Slowly lift the elbows and really relax back. There you go. Up you come and just let go. Sit back on your heels, hands together, and very well done. Shape your shoulders with Chris the Cow. Watch, and we will show you how. This is a great one, but first of all, can you tell me what a cow does? What noise does he make? Oh, a bit more than that. Oh, that's good. I've got a herd of cows here. Let's do the movement. Now, first of all, children, can you face the forest for me? And now breathe in. Lift the right arm in the air and stretch it back. Now take the left hand and see if you can join your arms together. Now sometimes it's very easy to do it one side, but quite difficult the other. But with practice, you'll be able to. Now take a big breath in. Gently breathe out and take your head down and moo like a cow. Breathe in, lift that elbow. Undo and relax. Well done. And work your shoulders now. Loosen them up. Now let's try the other side. Breathe in. Lift the left arm and drop it back. Take the right arm. Now again, sometimes one side's easy, the other's more difficult. And this can be caused by your heavy school bags you have to take around with you or lots of schoolwork. Breathe in now. Now breathe out and down we go again. And everyone moo like Chris the cow. Breathe in, lift that elbow and stretch. 
and undo and work your shoulders. Loosen them very gently and just relax. Well done. Let's try again. Shoulders back now. Big breath in. Lift the right arm and drop it back. Take the left arm and try and join your arms together. And just notice if one side's easier than the other. Breathe out and down we go. And everyone moo like Chris. Breathe in. Lift that elbow and stretch. And breathe out. Undo your arms. Now work them around gently to relax them. Breathe in. Lift the left arm and drop it back. Take the right arm. Join your arms together. That's good. And again, breathe out and relax down. And one big move. Breathe in. Lift that elbow. And now you're meant to look like a cow's head in this movement. Do you think you do? Take the arms down and just relax. Well done. Give Guy the Mountain Goat your attention. He'll help you relieve shoulder tension. Kneel up and have your bottom on your heels and shoulders back. Interlock your hands in front of you. Breathe in. Lift those arms now and stretch. Now see who can stretch the tallest. Go on, stretch up and up and up to straighten those shoulders. This is very good if you've been slouching over your school desk or over your computer. Stretch taller and straighter. Lower your arms and just relax. Very good. One more. Shoulders back. Interlock your hands. Breathe in. Lift those arms now and really stretch. Go on, see who can stretch the tallest. Stretch up to that lovely sky. Lower your arms and just relax. That's very, very good. Now, if you can manage that with ease, open your knees a little bit and see if you can place your bottom between your heels. Sometimes this isn't easy because your knees are a bit stiff. In that case, just sit back on your heels again like that. But if you can, lower your bottom between your heels and sit straight. Now interlock your hands in front. Breathe in and lift those arms. Now really stretch. Stretch up taller and straighter. Come on, that's very good. Stretch up higher. Come on, see who can stretch the highest. Lower your arms and just relax. One more. Interlock your hands, breathe in. Lift those arms now. Stretch up, come on, stretch taller and taller. And lower your arms, that's great. Now work your shoulders around, loosen them up. Place your hands on the floor, sit back on your heels and just place your hands together and just relax. Well done. Percy the Puma shows you how to relax by releasing your tension and stretching your back. Let's have a go at Percy the Puma. Have both legs straight out in front of you. And now, gently lie flat on your back. Draw your knees up to your chest and lift your bottom in the air. Now take your legs straight back and support your back with your hands and hold it there. And now just relax in it. Now, if you can, take your feet to the floor and then take your hands straight back towards those feet. If you can't do that, don't worry. Keep your legs a little bit from the floor and support the back with your hands. Now stay in your favorite position of this movement. Just relax in it. It's great for your back and your shoulders. Very good for giving you energy. So just stay there now. Close your eyes and relax. Now gently take your knees to your forehead, place your hands on the floor and roll down your back slowly. Lower your legs gently down to the floor. And now gently slide your hands under your bottom, breathe in and bring the top of the head onto the floor and arch your body backwards. Lower your body down to the floor now, close your eyes and relax. And now draw your knees into your chest and just rock your back from side to side just to relax it. Let your legs go straight out in front of you and just let go. Grab your right knee and breathe in and up you come. Well, thank you very much. You've all done so well. You keep this up and it will help you keep happy and healthy for many years to come. Now I'd like to finish with some deep relaxation, but we've got a little friend who's going to help us. He's called Henry the hamster, but he's a bit of a sleepy head. So I'm going to shout one, 
two, three. Then if you'd help me, you just yell Henry. The children with me are going to do it as well. So are we ready? One, two, three. Very good, but he's still asleep. He's such a sleepy head. Let's do it again. One, two, three. Henry! Oh, that's better. There he is. Now you've got him out of hibernation, he'll help you with your relaxation. Now, lie flat gently. Have your arms, palms uppermost, and just close your eyes. That's very good. Now, you do it at home doing this as well. Now, Tense your feet, squeeze them up, squeeze them hard, and just relax them. And now tighten your knees and just relax them. Now let your thighs relax. Let your tummy relax. Now your chest and your shoulders, and squeeze your hands into little balls, and then let them relax. Now squeeze your face up into a real old prune and relax. Now close your eyes and let the whole of your body go into a lovely, dreamy, drowsy state. Just let go. Feel yourself going calm and peaceful. Now practice your deep breathing. Just breathe in slowly through your nose and breathe out very slowly through your nose. Off we go again. Just breathe in deeply and breathe out very slowly and calmly and let your body relax. Now close your eyes and visualize a beautiful waterfall shimmering and sparkling in the sunshine. Keep this in your mind and relax, relax, relax. You just stay there relaxing as long as you like. Now, very many thanks to Colin the Cobra and all my many forest friends. Thank you very much. See you again soon. Bye-bye. You've done so well. I'm very pleased with you. Now keep practicing your whole life through. <laughs>